What David Cameron is saying is, I'm going to be a dictator. He's saying that procedure doesn't matter, the rule of law doesn't matter. We all just ignore that if we think it's expedient. David Cameron talked to the CBI conference in November 2012 and he outlined this is what we're going to do. Number one, cutting back on judicial reviews because we can't have people challenging the government. Number two, we're going to consult the public less because they just get in the way. And number three, we're not going to, as he said, dot the I's and cross the T's of the laws. We're just going to get on and do this. And this is the whole point, it's become dictatorial. The problem here is ideological. Politicians are required by their oath of office to abide by the law to follow procedure. And that's what they're not doing. The trouble is, we have no way in this country to hold the executive to account. So all we have left is to actually turn up and arrest them. I've spent five, six years researching all this. I've written lots of reports and it's achieved absolutely nothing because they're not interested in them which is why it's misconduct. So tomorrow I'll go along with a, a new report I've written, which details exactly why what they have done is misconduct. And I will give it to the policeman on the gate. And so the policeman, if he is abiding by his duty, should take my report, go, that's very interesting, and go and investigate it. I'm a police customer from the Metropolitan Police Service. Yes. Okay, so I'm not going to discuss anything with you. Sorry. Is there anything else I can help you with? You're prejudging. Right. No. no, I'm not prejudging. There is ample evidence of... Okay, that's the end of our conversation. Misconduct so, in a public... Excuse me. There is ample evidence that certain cabinet ministers have carried out misconduct in a public office. Now, misconduct in a public office is an arrestable offence. And I have the evidence here, and I would like you to go and arrest them. Are you refusing to listen? Are you refusing to take my complaint? I'm making a complaint. Are you refusing to take that as a constable? Hello. If the policeman specifically refuses to take the evidence, refuses to investigate it, then he, under Section 26 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act 1984, he gives me the right to carry out a citizen's arrest. If you do not respond, I will have to assume that that is a refusal. If that is a refusal, because it is an indictable offence, I am prepared to go and citizens arrest those people. We have this thing called a ministerial code, which requires not just that ministers are correct and adhere to all the rules, but they must never give the appearance that they are breaking those rules. So will you let me in, please? Absolutely no way. On what basis? On the basis that it's protect the premises and you're not entering. That's the end of our conversation. In order, you're not going to listen to my complaint, you're not going to do anything, and you won't open the gate. In which case, I'll have to climb over. Is there a safe place where I can climb over? And so what I want to do is actually arrest, uh, specifically, David Cameron, George Osborne, Ed Davey, because they are the most directly responsible for this policy. So you're protecting those people in there even though they've breached the law? Yes. No. I don't think I will get through the gate. In that way, it's symbolic. But what I hope to do is kick, kick off a chain of events if they try and take me to court. My defence will be, well, this evidence demonstrates that I have a right to do this. Well, my sergeant is coming down to speak to you now. Oh, is he? Oh, right. Yeah, In that because, case, I will, I will quite happily wait. The radio. I will quite happily wait for your sergeant. Okay. There's lots of other issues I could pick, but in fracking, they have excelled themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lovely letter leaked from George Osborne's office where he talks about the asks from Quadrilla, where Quadrilla have asked the government to do this, and they just jump, jump too. I believe at this moment uh, the Cabinet will be finalising the announcement of the 14th round licences. If that happens, I think that is unlawful for a whole lot of reasons which are detailed in here. Now, the main complaint I have is that not just that, but actually actions over the last three years, for various reasons, breach the law, ministerial code, international obligations, to the point where what I can now say is what they're doing is misconduct in the public office. Going back to what David Cameron said in 2012, they are deliberately avoiding these laws because they just don't want to obey them. I'm not saying what, what, what mm. we are or aren't going to do yet, because we're just trying to... Yeah. Obviously, yeah. we've got officers down here with firearms. The point of doing about doing it in Downing Street, it's a controlled environment. I can turn up, have a discussion, we can establish what I'm there for to do without it being necessary for them to jump on me. If you look at the relationships between members of the cabinet and public relations agencies who represent the business and the business itself, 
What this is, is George Osborne's leaked letter would be a good example. George Osborne was given directions to ministers to make services available to private companies as a favour. No assessment of liabilities to the public, no assessment of the value for money of giving them that service. That's just one example, a whole lot of different ways in which David Cameron, George Osborne, and by his failure to act when obviously he does know the truth, Ed Davey, have been facilitating a crime. At the moment they're talking to the Downing Street liaison officer. I don't know about what, but they're having a discussion. Come on. I need to Come go on. that way. No, you can't. Why? Come on. Why? Come on. Why? Why? Because there is a traffic order that says you can't go into the street. I don't believe that it's valid in these well, circumstances. I'm afraid if you I want to take I a legal agree. challenge... I don't agree with your decision. Yeah, thank you. Oh well, I just have to stand in front of the gates here. Paul, you're obstructing the highway. You're obstructing justice. Okay, well, what I'd like you to do is there's something called the... I'm aware of the order, yes. Okay. Um, the line goes up to there. Yep. I'd like you to leave, please. I can't because I believe there is an imminent danger as a result of misconduct in a public office committed by the Prime Minister, David Cameron, the Chancellor, George Osborne. And so I, I have asked to address that imminent threat that these good men do something about it, and they won't. And if they won't, I, I wish to. Okay. So I do not wish to move. Okay. Um, we'll call it three o'clock then. In that case, I'm arresting you yeah, for fine. breaching um, this traffic management order. Okay. It's the anti terrorism uh, traffic road order. Hey. There's so many different ways that we can, that activism could do better rather than being representative, rather than just clicking on a 38 degree or an AVAS petition and asking them. Oh, please do this. There comes a point when you have to say, how much more are you going to take? If not now, when? And if not you, then who?